People in Nepal are living in a state of fear after the country was slammed by yet another powerful earthquake on Tuesday. Authorities say the death toll from the latest quake has reached at least 83, while roughly 2,000 have been injured. The second quake comes less than three weeks after Nepal was devastated by the first 7.8 magnitude tremor that killed more than 8,000 people there. With the details, here's our Kim Hyun-bin. The U.S. Geological Service says the second earthquake, measured at a magnitude of 7.3, struck near Mount Everest early Tuesday local time and was followed by two separate aftershocks. I felt really scared this time. I was afraid that uh, what happened to my house or something, like, uh, hope nothing was happened uh, in my home, so I just ran here. I was very scared at that time. Nepal has been desperately trying to recover and rebuild ahead of the monsoon season, which starts next month. This latest quake adds to the fear and hardship residents have been going through since the first 7.8 magnitude quake struck on April 25th. We have started to feel comfortable and everything has become normal, but today's massive earthquake make us feel that our place is not safe anymore, so we decided to come back to this place, the open theater, where we were staying when the first quake happened. Meanwhile, a U.S. military helicopter sent to support relief efforts in Nepal has gone missing with eight people, including six U.S. Marines on board. The Pentagon says it hopes the chopper made a safe emergency landing, as the U.S. area search before nightfall did not find any trace of a crash site. Helping with the relief efforts, the Korean government says it will send an emergency response team to Nepal on Wednesday. Kim Hyun-bin, Arirang News.